So today I'm just showing you four simple ways you can start investing today, like literally today. There's this big misconception that you have to be some Warren Buffett type character and to make tons of money with investing. And that could be further from the truth, right? Unless you want to be a billionaire like Warren Buffett, then that's a different story. But you can have some passive income on the side by investing and it's really not that complicated. <laughs> All right, guys, first on this list are robo-advisors. Now, you might be wondering, Troy, what is a robo-advisor? And that is a great question. A robo-advisor is basically an online automated financial advising system. Now, what makes that cool is that there's little to no human interaction involved. And for example, I use Acorns. I never talk to anybody. <laughs> it's all based on their computer system. And also, once you open up an account, they'll send you a survey to fill out, and then they'll recommend a, a way for you to invest based on how you answer that survey, which makes it great if you're just starting out. Also, you don't need a bunch of money to get started, right? For Acorns, the minimum is $5 to get started. Uh, for a lot of them, you don't need an account minimum. You can just open up an account, and then that's super easy for you because you're not pressured to putting in money right away if you're not ready. Uh, you can just kind of learn as you go, right? And there's a lot of educational resources on these apps for you to learn what to do and how to do it, which makes that great if you're just getting started. And so hopefully this helps. I'm gonna show you a few options right here. All right, guys, so right now I'm gonna be showing you the best robo-advisors of 2022. This is from nerdwallet.com. They have a lot of good resources in regards to investing and finance. Uh, but right now I'm gonna show you the best robo-advisors uh, brokers uh, on their website. So uh, obviously there's a lot of options that you can choose from. It's really just gonna be based on your personal situation uh, and preference. Uh, you'll have to do your own research uh, on each of these just to find what suits you best. Uh, personally, when I'm looking at a broker or online broker, I'm usually looking for one that has low management fees and uh, no account minimum, right? Especially when I first started out, that's what I was looking for in particular because I didn't have that much money to invest in the first place. And if you're watching this video, perhaps you don't have that much to invest anyways. Um, also, you want low management fees because if you're not investing that much money in the first place, uh, management fees can be the pain in the butt right especially if you don't have that much uh, money invested uh, for a long period of time all right guys second on this list are online brokerage accounts now online brokerage accounts are investment accounts that allows you to buy sell trade investments such as stocks bonds mutual funds etfs uh, bitcoin if you want to do that and it's super easy to start i used td ameritrade it was super easy for me to open up an account and start investing i only had 15 dollars two years ago to invest and actually actually i lie that's what I wanted to start off with. I didn't want to start with an exorbitant amount of money because I know there's a lot of risk involved with you know, day trading. And so that's what I did. And so it just depends on whatever, however you want to do that. And so it just depends on however you want to start. Um, there's a lot of educational, there's a lot of educational resources as well. So that makes it good for you. If you don't know what you're doing, you can learn as you go. And if you don't want to start with a whole bunch of money, you don't have to, you can just use $5 or a dollar. <laughs> it's super easy to do. And so, uh, I'm going to show you an example of TD Ameritrade, which is an online brokerage account right here. All right, guys. So another super simple way to start investing today is through another online broker app called TD Ameritrade. There's a lot of other apps that you can use that are similar to TD Ameritrade. Uh, you may have heard of things like Fidelity Investments or E-Trade, like I showed you in the previous uh, video. Uh, Charles Schwab, Robinhood, right? The infamous Robinhood. Uh, but this is the one that I use. TD Ameritrade is a broker that offers an electronic trading platform for trade of financial assets, including things like common stocks, preferred stocks, uh, futures, exchange traded funds, or ETFs, in other words, mutual funds, or uh, infamous cryptocurrencies, as you uh, hear a lot about today. Uh, but it's super easy to use. Um, there's a lot of good resources on this app as well. Um, as you can see here is a daily market update. Uh, there's a lot of news updates as well to see how the market's doing. Uh, if you do not know that much about investing, they have a lot of educational videos that covers basically the basics, right? So uh, if you need some brushing up or you're just learning from scratch, there's a lot of information here that can teach you what to do and how to do it. And of course, there's how-to videos, right? So this is kind of how I started off. Um, it really goes in depth and kind of breaks it down for you and it can get you started investing, you know, right away. 
All right, guys, so third on this list is a Roth IRA account. Now, a Roth IRA account is an individual retirement account which you contribute after tax dollars. So it's great. Well, so what's great about this is is that your investments grow tax-free and so as long as your account's open for at least five years and that you're older than 59 and a half currently uh, you can withdraw those funds penalty and tax-free so if you're preparing for retirement that's great uh, i started mine with acorns i'm going to show you an example of that right here so another easy way for you to start investing today is of course through the online broker apps but by opening up a Roth IRA as well, you can open up a Roth IRA at an online broker and then choose your own investments. It's super simple. Um, when you open up account, uh, for example, with Acorns, they're gonna ask you a bunch of questions in regards to your personal situation, you know, things like your age, uh, your risk tolerance, uh, how aggressive you wanna you know, invest. And based on all that information, that's how they'll build your portfolio. It's, so it's super simple, super easy, and a quick way to, for you to start investing your money. All right, guys, last on this list is an emergency fund. Now, this is probably the most important thing you should have, but basically it's a conservation of funds that you have just in case of an emergency happens, right? And I usually recommend between three to six months, right? And if you watch Dave Ramsey, he also mentions three to six months worth of expenses. And so that means your rent, your food, utilities, things that basically you need to live month to month. And so if something happens, you lose your job, et cetera, at least you have some money on the side so you're not panicking and you need money right away. And so what I recommend is usually using an online emergency fund calculator. And I'm gonna show you an example of that right here. Last but not least is the emergency fund. Um, this is probably, no, nah, not probably, is the most important one out of the bunch that I had mentioned. Uh, everybody should have an emergency fund you know, rainy days come and you want to have that umbrella. This calculator is coming from the MotleyFool.com website, but that was an arbitrary choice. There's a lot of options online for emergency fund calculators, or you can just create your, your own through Excel spreadsheets, right? Uh, it's basically asking you some expense questions. So what's your rent, your utility payments, your transportation, so things like your car payments, gas, uh, food, what's your food budget, debt, medical, and other expenses or miscellaneous expenses. And based on all that information, it's going to tell you what you should probably have in emergency funds. All right, guys. So four different ways you can get started investing today. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it if you're just starting out with your investing journey. And if you didn't like it, please let me know in the comment section below so I can improve for the future. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. All right. Peace.